Now, before we start today's video, I need your help. We're debating hair length. I'm thinking this is long. It's like past the armpit. I think it's medium. And it's curled, so when it's straight, it's even more past the armpit. I think that's my benchmark. See, here's where my benchmark is the collarbone. I'm thinking short hair is above the collarbone, medium hair is below the collarbone, and then I think long hair is kind of, you know, over the bone. So I'd say medium is like shoulder length. Please help <laughs> us, okay? What qualifies as a short haircut? Is it chin and up? Is it ears and up? There has to be stylists bun. out there who know, like, you know. <laughs> There's gotta be a hair expert. Somebody knows out there. Guys, I need answers. And you know who knows everything? YouTube comments. So comments, please help me out. Leave me a comment. What qualifies as short hair? What qualifies as medium yeah. hair? What is long hair? Because apparently we have no clue. We have different ideas about this. And here's the rule. The most liked comment for hair length is done deal. That's oh, it. Yeah. Okay. It's been agreed upon by okay. the people. Okay, when the people agree on something, we're gonna go for it. Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am hanging out with my sister Mo. Hey everybody, welcome to the second best day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> she is pregnant once again. How far along are you right now? I am about halfway right now. So that's exciting. We got so many requests from you all to make another trying my sister's pregnancy cravings and video. Thank you for those requests. <laughs> thank you to all of you who said that. So today I am going to be trying my sister's pregnancy cravings. This is part two for her second pregnancy. Mo's going to walk me through all of the things that she is craving. She has some food aversions as well. If you guys are liking these types of videos, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe and ding the bell to receive notifications every time we post a new video. Now without further ado, let's start basically this pregnancy mukbang. Where do you want to start? We will do one of my biggest cravings that has probably the sugariest mayo, which is why I like it, but mm. a McDonald's Make chicken, but dipped in sweet and sour sauce to make it a little Holy. bit sweeter. It's good. I'm telling no. you, it's good. You're gonna like it. If I were to ask you your most craved food right now, do you think it would be mayonnaise? It's up there. That's definitely one of the top ones. Like I would kill <laughs> for a sandwich with just a bunch of mayo and a ton of lunch meat on it. Right, but you can't have lunch meat because it's not cooked, right? right? Yeah. Oh, so you really want a godmother's right now. <laughs> I want that to be the first thing you I eat. You want the Bay City, is it Bay City? Bay City. Bay City godmother sandwich. sandwich. Oh, it's the best Italian oh. sandwich in LA. We love them. They're so good. We'll have to They're get such one. such a treat. After you give birth, it will after. be your treat. Until then, the mayonnaise. Well, these aren't bad. I mean, I've had these on their own. They do have a lot of mayonnaise on them. I don't mind a little mayonnaise, but these do have a lot. And you dip them in sweet and sour sauce. Well, like, this is so weird. Sauce. Sweet and sour has always been my favorite for like chicken nuggets and sometimes yeah. like French fries. Mm. Look, can you see all that mayo? Oh, wow. Look at how much mayonnaise is in this sandwich. You can just see it. It's just oozing. Yeah, so you just do a little dip. Boop, boop. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I'm doing this. And this is just hitting the spot for you. Mm -hmm. You're just happy. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a big mayonnaise bite right here. I'm gonna dip it in the sweet and sour sauce and try this first pregnancy craving. Oh, it looks so weird. Well, don't look at it, just eat it. Okay. Just take a bite. Whoa, it's a very sweet sandwich. And it has a little spice, a little aftertaste from the chicken. Molly, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's very weird. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give it a 10 points for weird. <laughs> and can I say this? Mm -hmm. Even for a sweet tooth, I love mm -hmm. sweets. This may be too sweet for me. Mm -hmm. Molly, who are you? That's what I'm saying, the sweet. It makes it even sweeter. I'm You're upset. out sweeting my tooth. I don't even know you anymore. Okay, so on the mayo cake, this oh, is geez. something else that has mayo and it's sweeter. It's specifically the Reeser brand Mac salad. We're going down the <laughs> rabbit hole. We're eating lots of mayonnaise and <laughs> this is it. This is the bee's knees. This is so good. Now we eat a lot of mac salad in our family, especially because we go to Hawaii a lot mm -hmm. and there's a lot of mac salad there. It's delicious. I've never had this brand. Yeah, scoop me some, you can have the rest, because apparently <laughs> you're, this is all you, Molly. Oh, uh, one escaped, one escaped. Okay, wow, this is really creamy. And it has a little crunchies in it too. Yeah, it's really creamy, it's really sweet. Oh, look at all these pickles in here. Mm hmm Mmm, wow, right? mm, it's sweet. Mm-hmm. Okay, Molly, this is a good mac salad. Right? This is delicious. <gasps> Do you think this means the baby has a little sweet tooth? Probably. 
I can't eat all of this, and so we should probably move on before I devour everything. Is that another pasta salad? I will tell you, you probably have never had a pasta salad like this before. So I'm like, wait, 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 you're telling me you're sitting here eating this pasta salad. Mm -hmm. You know, you're at home eating this, enjoying it, and you're like, you know what would be really good? This other pasta salad. And you will see why what? in just a minute. Here. Show me your pregnancy ways, Molly. Here we go. Dude, what? This one I had never had before, and I stumbled across it and really liked oh, it. Oh, wow. So this one is from the California Chicken Cafe. Okay. And it is pasta noodles with Thousand Island and chicken. Okay, it, it looks really creamy I would still. never have thought to put Thousand Island on pasta. Well, now today we're doing it. So it's basically a salad, so healthy. Very healthy. Look, there's, <laughs> green, there's green specks in it, right? <laughs> yeah, there's little pieces of green onion, so we've got our vegetables. Yeah, so you see the little noodle, you see it also has that creamy texture because of the dressing. Okay. Let me taste this, Molly. Okay, that's surprisingly good. Right? I, di I didn't think I'd like my pasta like that. Okay, Mo and baby, this was a good one. <laughs> it's still sweet, but not as sweet as the other one. Yeah, I'm kind of preferring the mac salad over this one, <laughs> to be honest. Not sweet enough? I mean, I gotta be honest, mm -hmm. I love this one. I'm very surprised by it, but okay. I like your mac salad with the pickles. It's so good. You found a good one. Molly, please tell me the cornichons are next, because I can't eat any more mayo. Yeah, these I'm at are, a mayo limit today. These might be one of the reasons I love that rooster mac salad so much mm -hmm. because they do have the pickle in there. You get that salty, mm. crunchy, delicious. Yeah. Thing. Sweet and salty <sighs> together. Mm -hmm. And I love it because this brand has the little thing that you can pull up. So when you get low, you pull up this little thing and it pulls them out of the juice for you. They think of everything. It's amazing. Oh my God, that might be the smallest one I've ever seen. Mm. The day before I found out I was pregnant, for dinner I had smoked salmon and cream cheese and cornerstones. That's all the day stuff. before you were pregnant, you had mac and cheese and pickles. Pickles too. I would say it's the giveaway, but I eat pickles and cornerstones so much, it's not totally. You liked creamy and pickles. Mm -hmm. What else you got for me? I want to taste some more of your pregnancy <laughs> cravings. Let's get into some of the creamy, the cheeses. So Borson is amazing on its own, but being dairy free, they just partnered with Follow Your Heart for this what dairy is that? free cheese. And it's incredible. I ate an entire tub the other day. Is it cream Whoops. cheese? It's like a, it's like a dip. dipping cheese. Molly is lactose intolerant. So even when you're <laughs> pregnant, you don't have dairy, right? No. Oh, okay, okay. Molly's getting in there. <laughs> Come here, you deliciousness. So this is one of your favorite things to eat. I ate a whole tub. Wow. By myself. Okay, so, so what do you- crackers. Okay, we got just a little take cracker. A little cracker and just dip it, and it's delicious. What's the flavor? Garlic and herbs. This is incredible. Mm -hmm. I approve of this craving. Mm -hmm. I, this is a good one. Yeah. Okay, I just learned something new. I didn't know anything about this dip. Mm. Ten out of ten. So this mm. definitely satisfies that creamy craving that I have. Molly, what's next? Okay, speaking of follow your heart and cheeses, yes. I have their dairy-free smoked gouda. Oh wow! And it is so bomb. You're not even gonna know. I just have a slice of it. <laughs> You're just eating a slice. slices of cheese. It's cheese. so good. It's a smoked Gouda flavor. You're gonna love Holy, it. Holy, we grew up around charcuterie boards where you make little sandwiches, cheese and crackers and jams, and you pair things together. Mm. You're just eating pieces of cheese at home. Look, just try it. You're about to be too. I can't. Mm, 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 I mean, it's good. Mm, mm. I just, I want to put a cracker with it. You want it. your cracker? Yeah. Okay. Molly, want a cracker? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Molly, want a cracker? Here's my little maverick charcuterie. Also very good. This was a good one, though. Right? I'm gonna give it to Molly. She can pick a good cheese dip mm -hmm. and a cheese. And mm -hmm. these are wonderful vegan cheeses. This is a great brand. Mm -hmm. When are you eating this cheese? Are you sit back on the couch watching The Bachelor? She's a big fan of The Bachelor. I am. Are you just doing that? Are you just like sitting there like? Yeah, I mean, that is a great example of when I could see myself uh, doing that, actually, <laughs> so. Now, Mo, you did a lot of grocery shopping and I'm seeing a lot of stuff's new, but some is the same pregnancy cravings you had last time around. Like these. What's up with this? Honey crisp apples. They just have that crunchy, juicy, sweet taste to them also. If you want an apple, you want a honey crisp. Yeah, usually when I'm not pregnant, Granny Smith are one of my favorites. I love like the sour. Yeah. But it's honey crisp right now. It's kind of the sweeter, crispy 
juicy. It's Welcome to the sweet side. I'm a Honeycrisp girl. Mm -hmm. I love Honeycrisp. So this is the same time. Cheers. We're on Cheers. the same page. Mmm. This is one of my favorite kinds of apples. <clears throat> yeah, I usually have them for like a snack or something because they're mm -hmm. really good size. It's actually one of the healthy things I crave. I don't eat all of this stuff on a daily basis, but that doesn't mean I don't crave it on a daily basis. All right, Molly, what's next? Molly, with all these sweets, I think you're going to have a sweet baby. Oh, I love that. Oh, I, I already have this. one sweet little guy. Now you're going to have two sweeties. Right now, Grayson's sweet and spicy. He and is. You, last time you were craving more spicy things too. It was like sweet and spicy, That's and true. now it's sweet and now creamy. It's more sweet. Yeah. Interesting. So for candy, is it just gummies? I see that you've got gummies and maple bar donuts. So very specifically at our gender reveal, it was so fun. We rented a, an ice cream bar that had a ton of toppings and for whatever yeah, reason, gummy bears sounded so good. So I had a big scoop of gummy bears on top of my sorbet and ate them all. It was like fireworks went off on my brain that that was so good. So very specifically, gummy bears, gummy bears are incredible and just like quench this like really, really sweet craving. And ever since I had, I went back for just a cup of the gummy bears after and I've never done that. I, I don't even do that. I've never gone to the movies and been like gummy bears. I don't think I've ever bought gummy bears for myself. This ever. is crazy. So wow. Mm, they're good. They had the spot. I love gummies. I mean, oh my gosh, I think this one's pineapple. I think you'd love this. This is you pineapple. You love your pineapple. Oh, <gasps> shut Look. up. This is pineapple. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Now I'm craving gummy bears. What brand is this? Right? These are Black Forest are organic. Molly, good for you. I mean, mm. even though Molly's got these cravings, she's still trying. She's out here buying organic gummy bears. And also, these are amazing. They're a little bit lower in sugar and just quench a little sweet tooth. Mm. Just are delicious. I could eat millions of these. I know you yeah. like your Swedish fish, girl. I love Swedish fish and any version of them. Like Wholesome makes some, this mm -hmm. brand makes some. Mm -hmm. And I like these because each little bag is just 100 calories. So you can't do too much damage. <laughs> yeah, these are damage control, everybody. So yeah. that's what's nice about these ones. Yep. Molly, this is a good one. I approve of this craving. Molly, we should just do a post-pregnancy cravings video where you can just eat all your favorite foods after all the stuff that you couldn't have now. We could just order them, sit by the beach, and that's the video. Yep. <laughs> Molly's a great video producer, everybody. This these is are, great. These, these ideas, ideas just come these to me. These ideas just come It in. just comes to me, <laughs> and you let the creativity flow. It's great. Molly, I feel like these are just your favorite foods that you eat all the times anyways. Well. So nothing has changed here. But I still crave them, and I am <laughs> pregnant, therefore they are. Crazy craving, okay? <laughs> Molly's been it's eating both of these since she was like four years old. <laughs> so this is nothing new. Molly's favorite donut has been a maple bar since we were little kids. They're so bomb. And nothing's changed. Molly, we should each eat a bite. Ready? Let's okay. do a Lady in the Tramp. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Yum. Mm-hmm. Mm. They're my favorite too. Are they? Yeah. Huh. Sometimes I like a chocolate donut or old fashioned, mm -hmm. but maple bar old and an old fashioned. fashioned. Who's favorite donuts in old fashioned? It's cakey, oh, you know. Are bomb. Oh, I've offended the room. Okay, Molly, this is hilarious. Okay, let's move on. We've eaten a lot of sweets. Something I've seen here, a snack that's not sweet, it's more salty. So I had never had pickle chips. I always assumed they were kind of like a joke. And then I had one and it was a game changer. I love pickle chips. And then the sea salt and vinegar, it just gives you that punchy taste. It's so good, I love the salty. Have you ever had a pickle chip? Mm -hmm. I might have tried something, but it was so many years ago. Screaming dill pickle. Did not taste like a dill pickle. <laughs> <laughs> and I like pickles. And mm -hmm. I like chips mm -hmm. separately, but I don't remember loving a pickle chip, so I'm very curious to try this brand, because I like this brand, Yeah. but I've, ne I've never had one of their pickle chips, I don't think. And it's a different cut, you guys, crinkle cut. Here we go, look here. Oh, look I love, that I looks. love this cut. This is a fun cut. Mm. These are so weird. They got that dill in there. It's not bad. It's just really weird. It's a pickle chip. It really tastes like a pickle. Mm -hmm. Let's try one of these. Mm -hmm. I love salt and vinegar, so. Oh, you do? Oh. <laughs> I've never done that before. Perfect, Molly. Now we just have a boat of chips. <laughs> it's a boat of chips. It's chip boat. All right, let's taste these ones. 
Mm, it's been so long since I had one of these. Mm, these are so good. If I had to cut a chip, I'd cut the dill pickle chips for these. These are way better than the dill pickle chips. Really? Yeah. Now that I'm having them side by side, I'm like Xing out the pickle chips. I'm a fan of these. They're weird. Mm. I've never had something quite so pickly as a chip. There you go. It's weird. Hmm. Potatoes and pickles, they belong together. Mo, tell me about this next pregnancy craving. Following the cheese and creaminess that I'm craving, this has definitely been one of my number one things. And this was the same with Grayson too. I craved so much pizza with delicious vegan cheese in the mm. beginning of my pregnancy. It is the same thing. I absolutely Ooh. love a little pizza with artichoke hearts and black olives. Here's the most special. It's a vegan pizza, vegan cheese mm -hmm. with artichokes and olives. Yep. And it is delicious. Super it is Italian. So good. Our Italian genetics are just like, yeah, 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 this is how you do it. <laughs> yeah, and as if the cheese on it wasn't creamy enough, I like to dip it in the vegan ranch. Wow. Mm -hmm. A lot of cheese, a lot of cheese. Yep, there you go. Dip it in here. Mm -hmm. Almost too creamy. Oh, okay. But you love it. I love it. It's not bad. It's just really creamy. Mm. And I like most of your weird pregnancy cravings. Mm -hmm. But this one, a little creamy. Did you ever do ranch with pizza? Did you ever do that, babe? I did dip my pizza in ranch, but it was the crust because the crust mm -hmm. didn't have any mm -hmm. cheese on it. So when you got down to the crust and the crust thing was left, I would dip it in ranch. That makes sense. It was just like a delicious bread stick mm -hmm. at that point. Okay, well, there's one last thing to finish Ooh. it off with. Then. What actual is it? dessert. I don't think it's going to be too creamy for you. It is vegan ice cream from Craig's. Oh, <gasps> Craig's? Oh, yeah. they got the best vegan ice cream. And they make their own ice cream and sell it in little pints. It's so cute. I'll show you. Here. Did you get pints of ice cream? Maybe I got pints. Yes! Maybe I got pints. Best day ever. So here it is. This is the final food that my sister has been craving a lot during this pregnancy. The yummy, delicious vegan ice cream from Craig's. We have three flavors here. These are Molly's favorite three right now. They're so good. It's vanilla chocolate swirl with vegan brownies and sprinkles. Let's take a look inside. So freaking good. Oh, look, look at, at this. Oh my goodness. And these are all cashew based ice creams. Which, which is the best. In it my the opinion, creamiest. it's the best. There are some other ones that they're are really coconut, good. They're coconut based or almond those based. Those are good, but they're a little icier. The cashew is the creamiest. I and mean, I'm into the creamy. I like other flavors. I like other brands. I like mm -hmm. other types of, of milk products used or dairy-free milk products used. Mm -hmm. But right now, these are it. So we have the sundae. We have peanut butter and mint Ooh. chip, one of my all-time favorites. Creamy peanut butter folded with chocolate flakes. Yeah. Peanut butter and chocolate, Molly? Yeah. Hello. So good. Okay, let's open them up. Let's have a bite. I'm okay. excited about these. I'm trying let's to get a brownie bit in here. Me too. Let's see if I can find one. With some pink sprinkles. I got a swirl. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sprinkles mm. make everything better. This mm -hmm. is happy birthday to me. You can have that one. That's for you. Happy birthday. Oh my god. What? <laughs> Happy 80th birthday tomorrow. Always. It's a joke we have that I'm an 80 year old woman. <laughs> now, before I commit to which one is my favorite, let's try these two. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Is this just a chunk of peanut butter? Oh, I got I got a big bite here. This is my favorite so mm -hmm. far. All right, and then what's that one? Mint? Mint chip. Mint chip has <gasps> always been my favorite. This is a classic. One of my favorite ice cream flavors. Salt and Straw has a really good vegan mint chip. This is so good. Yeah. It's between these two. Mm -hmm. You can't even tell it's vegan. Mm -mm. At all. All right, that does it for the video. Mo, a big thank you to you for putting this all together. <laughs> this was super fun. I really enjoy trying your pregnancy cravings. I will come eat delicious so food weird. with you anytime. Out of all the things that you ate today, Molly, which one was your favorite? Like right now, if your eyes are closed, you can't see any of the food in front of you, which one are you craving the most? I would finish that Reese or Max salad. Mo has no hesitation. Nope. She is a Max salad kind of a gal. It's really good. Let me know in the comments down below which pregnancy food craving that we ate today you think would be your favorite. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. 
click subscribe and ding the bell to receive notifications every time we post a new video because we are going to be posting some really fun videos this year. Also, if you want to follow my sister Mo on all of our social medias, I'll be posting them down below. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for suggesting it. It was really fun. Molly enjoyed every second Love you guys. of this. Really, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and let us know in the comments down below if you have any other ideas for any other videos that you would like to see. All right, bye bye. Bye. And if you'd like to watch any other videos, you can click up here or up here <laughs> or up there. Or up here. Or up there. Maybe here. Or up there. Maybe here. Look at it, I have a little tail. Do you like my little tail? Oh, look cute. My little cord.